Welcome to Banished. As we continue to work on our village Harshville here. Harshville because, you know, we don't want those losers who banished us from our last settlement to find out what a great little community we have here and then try to move over here. It's like, you guys banished us, you need to stay over in your little part of the world. Leave us alone. Anyway, let's get started. In the last episode, we just finished building the town hall and discovered that we're barely, barely, barely keeping our heads above water when it comes to our food production. But we also, we have, you know, built the iron mine here. So I think from now on, all our houses are going to be, oh, and we're clearing this area over here, are going to be stone houses. I did look it up though, and and these guys they can do four. So, you know, I don't know why when I tried to do that earlier, it seemed to not work right. I don't know. Our hunting cabin, though, is a default of three. Gather's hut is a default of four. So that ought to that now keep us keep it where um, we're we're getting a little bit more food. Look at this! Wow. 106 stored textiles, so we're, we're able to keep up with the food, I mean the clothing pr production. I am going to build a house, I think, here. Two houses, one to house our, one to house our miners, miners, not miners. Great quote from Star Quest. No, Galaxy Quest, right? Galaxy Quest, I think it is. Um, and our fishing dock here. And we're building it here, you know, it would be nice to just fit them in right here, but I want to keep it within the radius of the market so they are getting their, what they need from the market here. Each stone house takes 10 iron. So, wow, all right. to go ahead and get that last stone there. I don't think there's any more iron there yet. Always seems to put a weird kind of the people who move in whenever you first build a house always seem to be like a weird kind of 
profession that moves in. Builder and labor. All right, come on, readjust. We don't need four builders. Readjust. Quit making those guys walk that far. What is up with that? Get these houses. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah. But we still need, because there's four here, and there's only two adults in each house. So I got two people working here, and four working here, so I would really need like another house to fully satisfy this area here. Six thousand sixty-five hundred. Okay, produce sixty-four. Use fifty-eight. So I don't know. I don't know why I'm continuing to get the food. So we're now certainly in a in a surplus production. Everybody's almost a hundred percent healthy. things that we will build here is this. So I just want to get the, the um, just want to get the footprint down there. So now I'm working out, like I'm going to put my, some fields over here, farm over here. So I'm just working out the space. I'm going to put a house. to the uh, banished controls. here no we won't well you know I, I, I think I'm just gonna have to realize I'm gonna have some empty space here
10 by 10. Okay. And then we do a farm here, a 10 by 10. by 10 we're going to do a little like a uh, farming complex here corn squash and our farmers will be two and we'll build this house oh had more people die Plenty of radius so where our farm isn't encroaching on the radius of our gatherer's hut. Oops, should have been a stone house.
And then we'll put a okay, I'm pause. Put a bar in there. And we'll put a house here. Eventually, and a house. There. And so, if we have one farmer working each of these fields, that would be what? One, two, three, eight, nine. 15. 15 far house, um, farmers we need houses for, right? Yeah, all right, six. Six, for those of you who caught that error, you get an A in class. Um, so we have two, four, six houses here that would support all of this. Right now, we only have the two going, and we have this guy here supporting it, so that's good. Though, so, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, what, what's going on? How come, how come nobody's over here working on it? Okay, that's good. But I should see them planting, right? Yeah, how about getting to work? Okay, is that here goofing around? We need food. Okay, I don't know. It has been a while since I played, but I'm used to like whenever you do this, they're out here working it. Already. And I'm not seeing anything. Or maybe it's they only start in spring and we're already past the planting and harvesting. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, like I said, it's been a while since I played. Okay, our fuel, we produce, oh, we're using more than we produce. Well, I don't know. Is that just because we're at, we were, well, we're producing 116 reuse, so, yeah. So maybe we raise this to 300, huh? Because we were using fuel, yeah, over 300. So let's do 400.
And our food production, I mean, we produce quite a bit more now, so we're good. Just needed to get my fisheries, my fishing docks where they should be staffed. stone houses, yes. Okay, good. Just outside of the market radius. So maybe instead we don't build that guy there and instead we build him here. I mean, being being here, just right outside, I you know I don't think that's going to be that's that big of a deal, but just to be safe. percent full, 10 percent full. I mean we got lots of storage space. All right, they're producing more this season than they did last season. I don't know why that is. Let's go ahead and build this guy here. So the reason we do this is because, you know, if you, like if you made this all corn, then there's the possibility that they'll get diseased next to each other. So the idea is you're supposed to put the different crops next to each other, don't put them all right next to each other. 
and then you'll have healthier crops. Those are some noisy cows. I know this isn't supposed to be the most efficient way to do an orchard. It's better to do like more of a rectangle. But you know, it works. What's taking you so long to plant that squash? This guy's got all the corn already all planted and everything. I don't think though. I think they ripped us off with this uh By giving us two nuts, I, I, I think that means that we won't be able to produce any alcohol, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a bummer the rain kind of washes out the colors and everything. Because it seems to rain a lot in Vanished. Rain and um, snows a lot in Vanished. Just to check to see if my suspicion is correct that we're not going to be able to um, not going to be able to really make any alcohol because they gave us only nuts, no fruits. So we, uh, we may be able to make corn alcohol. I, I don't know. I was thinking you can only make alcohol from fruit, but maybe that's not true. Look at that food now, up over a thousand, huh? Produce four thousand, only use three. Well, so we're still not staying that that much that far ahead, but we are ahead, so that's good. Now we're getting people dying. Was trampled by a wild boar. Yeah, see? Didn't even have wheat. We're not gonna work you. But ripped us off, man. 
by giving us two nut crops as opposed to a uh, fruit or wheat. Which means we'll have to trade for something, which we're not going to play the game that long to be trading because it takes forever to get enough product and be lucky to have somebody come through with the crop right when you right when you have the correct resources to buy it with because it's quite expensive. So we're not going to probably be we're not going to be playing long enough to do that, but it's just you know. Um, Just, we're playing just long enough to show the template. Okay, anyway, um, that's it for this session. That's all the time we have for this session. Thank you for joining us as we continue to try and build out Harshville here. Hope you'll come back. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, until then, have a fantastic day.